Hello Leo. Welcome to your Tariscope for November 2019. I'll take it. Came out right away, but I'll take it. Embrace the truth. Angel of miracles. Open your heart and expect a miracle. Well, <laughs> illusion. Embrace the truth. Are you not seeing something clearly, Leo? It's a pretty card. She's in a mirror. All right, let's, um, we'll look at that in the book and see what that is. Angels, divine spirits and guides, I invite you now, whoa, <laughs> to come in and help me to deliver messages to the zodiac sign of Leo for November 2019. What does Leo need to know? Show them the messages they need to hear. Leo. Leo. All right. That one's coming out. And just thought I had another one. This one was coming out. Hmm. Leo. Okay. Knight of Swords. Nine of Cups. Leo. Leo. Show Leo. We're going to take that one. Hmm. Pisces, Gemini. One more card for the final outcome for Leo. Please, angels, how will... Thank you, angels. Oh, Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. That's nice. Shocking, sudden, unexpected changes. Uh, let's do it this way. Oh, being free from the devil. We got two cards about moving forward in the reverse position. Hmm. Okay. This is a general reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's not going to resonate with everyone out there, but if I am picking up on your energy today, please don't forget to hit the little thumbs up button below the video to let me know that. If I'm not connecting with your energy, there is a link in the description box below where you can check your moon and your rising sign, and maybe you will resonate with one of them. If you have already subscribed to my channel, I just want to say thank you. I cannot express my gratitude enough for my subscribers. If you are a newcomer and you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would greatly appreciate if you would do that. Funny, Leo, I'm just looking at the reading and you're not even here. There's not one fire here at all. This must totally be about someone else. But that's what came out. That's what came out. Anyway, anything else that you need to know about me is in the description box below. Other than that, let's get on with your reading, Leo. Okay, Leo. So the first card that you have for your past is the tower. Uh, that goes under there. I just want to put these back for a minute. The tower tells me that there's been some type of destruction here. Upheaval. A disaster. Um, I feel like this could have been a divorce. Or let's just at least say a separation. Because I don't know if you're even married to this person. But somebody could have moved out, left. There could have been a fight or an argument, a nasty argument. But you know, the tower. That's my everything happens for a reason card. The next card we have is the three of cups in reverse, sign of cancer. With it being next to the Nine of Cups, I feel like somebody definitely has a overindulgence issue here. 
I don't know what it is. Drugs, drinking, even video games, it doesn't matter. If I had to guess, I would say that somebody's clearly drinking here, which is leaving another person feel unloved, unhappy. There could have even been some type of outburst at a party, like I'm feeling like a public embarrassment in front of your friends or your family or something like that. This person got drunk, acted like an idiot, said some nasty things. The Three of Cups in reverse is, of course, a third party interference. Maybe you just saw something on his phone or in his email or something to that effect that he was talking to somebody else. The King of Pentacles is the culprit here. This Earth sign did something and I feel like it was very upsetting. I know he's in the upright position, but we're going to get to that in a minute. You could have even been engaged to this person or something to that effect. There was just like a, that three of cups could be like a canceled engagement, a canceled wedding. That just totally shocked the hell out of this guy because there's a lot of love here. So we move into the King of Pentacles, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. And you know what? This is a good guy. I feel like there's a lot of love here. You really love this person. I feel like he's a hard worker. He's stable, you know. He probably has a good job. Takes care of you and your children if you have them. He's a provider. This is a serious relationship here. You've probably been together for a long time. So he embarrassed you or, or did whatever it was that upset you and caused you to end this relationship. And you left. Or you at least threatened to leave anyway. Now, I think that you left. With that tower, something shook this guy up. He did not expect you to do what you were going to do. The Knight of Swords is unexpected as well. That's the first card for your present. That's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. He is not happy that you left or that this relationship is over or that you called off this wedding. He's not happy about this fight. He feels bad for what he did. And he wants to talk to you about it. He is coming in, coming in quick, coming in strong, aggressive. You could even be caught off guard. Like he's just going to show up at your doorstep. <laughs> I say that a lot with the Knight of Swords. But he wants to talk. And he is ready for a battle. He is prepared for whatever you're going to throw at him. Please keep in mind that this King of Pentacles could be, a queen, uh, could be just an earth sign. This could be female energy as well because all the people that are drinking there in that Three of Cups and that Nine of Cups, they're women. So you could be a male energy and just have a wife that just parties too much. But the Knight of Swords is taking action. Taking action against like against that tower. He's going right at that tower. He's like, oh, I'm not having it. You're not leaving me. He has an offer. Now look what he's offering. The Nine of Cups in the center of your reading. He's going to give you whatever you want. Anything that you ask for. If, we, if this reading is resonating with you, now is your time to ask for whatever you want <laughs> because you're going to get it. <laughs> He's going to tell you that he's going to cut out this addiction. He's going to cut out this other person that he was talking to. I don't feel like he cheated, but I feel like you might have seen something. He might have been talking to somebody or something was going on there. And with the Nine of Cups, you know, that's getting your wishes. So I feel like you actually want him to come back. Maybe that was your plan all along. Maybe you said, hey, if I, you know, I'm sick and tired of this guy acting like an idiot. So I'm just going to leave him and maybe that'll knock some sense into him. But the Nine of Cups is emotional fulfillment. It's great happiness. It's definitely romance. He wants to give you a lot of attention. He wants to give you whatever your little heart desires. So the next card that we have is the Six of Swords in reverse, sign of Aquarius. And look who's going back to the King of Pentacles. He's going to tell you that he's going to quit drinking. He's going to quit partying. He's going to quit playing video games. It doesn't matter whatever it is because the final outcome card is the devil in reverse. So he is willing to let go of whatever this was. So you're hesitant. I mean, the six of swords in reverse is hesitation. 
Should I go home? Should I get back together with him? Is he telling the truth? I'm just unsure. I don't want to let go of this relationship because I'm really happy there and I feel like he's a really good guy. He's only an asshole sometimes. I don't know what to do. So you went back and we come into your future and we have the Ten of Cups. Great happiness, successful, happy family. Everybody's back home. Maybe you're taking the kids to the park for the day. We're happy. We're in love. Everything's wonderful. The wedding's back on. <laughs> the engagement ring's back on. And you're going to live happily ever after. Now we do have the Eight of Swords next, which is the sign of Gemini. So here, I don't really get a, a stuck energy. Or maybe you're just saying to yourself, I just love this guy so much, I'm just going to have to turn a blind eye to his, you know, minor infractions and just deal with it. But I think it's more like anxiety. I think you're having some anxiety and worried if you did the right thing. Thinking. Overthinking. But that just tells me once again that you, you can't let go of this relationship. I feel like this is a good relationship. The illusion card is about being held back. It does suggest that this is an unhealthy relationship. And that this illusion is holding you back from who you truly are. But it just says that self-evaluation is necessary in order for everybody to move forward. When I read that, you know, I thought, well, there needs to be a chat here. I mean, these two people need to sit down and talk about this and say, this is the reason I'm not happy. I don't like what you're doing. I don't like the way that you're treating me. I don't want our relationship to be like this. I want to work on it. I want to make it better. The Angel of Miracles. Best card in the deck, by the way, I must say. When the um, Angel of Miracles is with you, it just says that basically something that you never thought would happen is going to happen. The angels are with you. They have heard your prayers. And your prayers are about to be answered, Leo. So get out of this negative thinking with this Eight of Swords. Because I do feel like, with the devil being reversed, that is someone who is getting over an addiction. They're fighting it anyway. But it's free from the chains, free from the devil. So I go back to, you know, the tower and I say everything happens for a reason. Whatever this person was doing, they needed to end it. It was probably bad for their health. Maybe they need to join like a support group, like an AA or something like that. But this is about regaining control, making a recovery. You know, getting out of the darkness and going back to the light. And then the Wheel of Fortune, I mean, that's obvious. It's time for a change. Things are changing. A cycle is ending. It's a turning point in someone's life. And look what's under that, the Justice card. It was uh, Capricorn, Scorpio, and Libra, by the way. I think you all know your signs, but I still like to call them out for everybody. But that's making the right decision, bringing equal balance back to the relationship. If you weren't married, maybe you are going to get married. But it's decision made. It's honesty and truth and... The Eight of Pentacles was the only thing that concerned me a little bit. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse, which is the sign of Virgo, is someone who makes the same mistakes repeatedly, like they didn't learn their lesson. But I feel like this person is fighting a battle, a difficult battle. I feel like they need your help. If you really do genuinely love this person and want to be with this person, I feel like it's possible. Start praying to the angels and ask for a miracle. If any of this is resonating with you. This is a troubled relationship. So maybe they will fall off of the wagon. But the death card in reverse, you know, it's not over. Normally that's about resisting change. So that's what made me feel like this person was fighting the battle. You know, they're having a hard time changing. I feel like this addiction or whatever this is is pretty extreme but the knight of pentacles was under there and then i think um yeah the king of cups see there's a lot of love here 
the Knight of Pentacles tells me that, you know, it's, it's slow moving. It's a slow plan. But we're going to keep moving forward and we're going to keep working on it. Because I feel like both of you don't want this relationship to be over. Especially if you have children. Nobody really wants a relationship to be over. I do have November 8th and November 13th, November 15th. They could just be significant days for you. Pay attention to those days. Could be a good day to have a conversation. Um, Leo birthdays. I got August 10th right here. Oh, yeah. August 10th again. Very significant. August 15th, August 13th, August 9th. August 12th. No July Leos. We don't have any sevens in the reading. Sorry. <laughs> I know somebody made a comment about that once. But the King of Cups, I mean, that just tells me that he's, you know, he's trying. He's working hard for the future, trying to be a good, loving father, loving husband, trying to do the right thing. I feel like this person's really going to try and work on it. Let's take a couple of um, Mystic Moons and see what do they have to say. What messages do you have for Leo about this reading on the table? What does Leo need to know? Show them the message. I got one right there. Material worlds. Okay. Hmm. Yep. That's usually my work card. Maybe this is going on at your work. Maybe you have a boss that's obnoxiously drunk all the time. I don't know. New direction. Follow the signs and forgiveness. So, um, the new direction to me is not, you're not going in a new direction, like you're not going away from this person. I feel like this person is going in a new direction. And obviously we have forgiveness. I mean, can you see that? I knew that was coming. Healing, forgiveness, healing. Yeah, this relationship is going to stay together. Um, material world, maybe that's an engagement ring or a house or, you know, something that you've wanted. I just heard that song. I saw the sign. It opened up my eyes. I saw the sign. Maybe that's just him realizing, him or her, realizing that they were about to lose everything due to whatever it was that they were doing. But I feel like this person's really going to try. Good luck with your, you know, situation. Let's pull a couple of Kipper cards. We'll take that one. Oh, yep, marriage. I knew that. And that one's coming out too. Official person. Uh-oh. That is a marriage right there. Someone is about to make a marriage official. I said that maybe that material world was an engagement ring. Hmm. Maybe they were just so focused on, I don't know, being a player or despair. That's, that's how, you know, sad that person was. They're on a new path here. And you got the imprisonment again. I mean, that's the same energy as the Eight of Swords. I feel like you're having anxiety and you're worried. Maybe that was him. Maybe he's having anxiety over the whole thing. I feel like somebody had a big wake-up call here. This is, you know, I always say the long road. It's the long road of transformation. It's a really long road towards the light and it's full of butterflies. Look, there's your bad health. Somebody might need rehab here with that bad health. They might need help. Maybe they're the ones that feels trapped, trapped by the devil. I feel like this person's really sad. They don't want to lose you, Leo. Let's pull a couple of advice cards. 
I overall feel like this is going to work out. I feel like it's just going to be a, a tough battle. Um, you know, but I see communication. I see love. I see, you know, working on it, planning towards the future, working on the problem. There, there's your full card. A new beginning. You're at the beginning of a wonderful journey. There's no need to have any fear as guardian angels walk beside you every step of the way. You have unique gifts to offer the world. If you will just free yourself from that which holds you back, new opportunities will present themselves if you truly believe. I mean, that's that person. They need to free their self from this devil, addiction, uh, whatever it is. Truly believe. I'm going to take one more card for the zodiac sign of Leo. What does Leo need to know? What advice, guardian angels, do you have for Leo on this situation? So, yeah, I mean, that even makes more sense now because I didn't, I wasn't even thinking advice. The advice is to have a new beginning, not have any fear, and to free yourself from the devil. Oh, there's ten of cups on the bottom of the deck. Beautiful. Five of abundance. There are times when everyone needs a hand. There's my rehab card again. This person needs help, Leo. Your angels want you to know that you needn't go through your current challenges alone. Accept the help of those around you. The situation you're experiencing is temporary. This may not be the right time to become self-employed. Be patient. That's getting a helping hand from a friend, a support group, a support group. Um, I got that three times. Where else did I get that? I can't even remember now. Um, they may need to, it might even be counseling, some type of counseling, but I mean, here's your Ten of Cups, beautiful, and the Star Card Celebration, wishes coming true again. Wishes coming true, wishes coming true, miracles being granted, Ten of Cups, life is blessing you with a wonderful, loving family. Great happiness and emotional fulfillment are now on the horizon. Harmony with those you love is assured by offering forgiveness, understanding, and kindness to others. You are rewarded with unconditional love. Beautiful. This is a wonderful time in your life. All the difficulties fall away, and the light at the end of the path is a star you can wish upon. Oh, how beautiful is that? The timing is right to make long-term plans for a joyful future. Have faith that things are going to turn out beautifully. Wow, that's really nice. All right. Well, that was a good ending. Stick by them, Leo. I feel like this person needs you. And I feel like you don't want to be without them either. Hmm. We're going to move into Angel Answers. You can start focusing on your question now. I'd rather you not pick your number until the third card is down. Once the third card, I don't want you to see those, but we're going to use them. One, two, is down. Now you can pick one, two, or three. It's important that you only pick one number. Yes. The answer to somebody's question is yes. It's important that you only pick one number, the first number that comes to your mind, and you don't change your mind, okay? Here are your answers, Leo. Communicate clearly. I said there needs to be a discussion here about this. Take action. There's a peaceful resolution. Yes, this is going to work out. Hang in there. Give them the support, the forgiveness, healing that they need. Winter, maybe it's going to happen in the winter. I feel like this relationship is salvageable. 
Thank you so much for watching today, Leo. Good luck with your situation, and I will see you soon.